week off, Coach. How did it kind of go? <laughs> well, a week off is work. So, you know, gave us an opportunity to get back on field and start improving areas that we believed we needed to improve on to going into these last five games. It's kind of that last thing that makes some adjustments and, you know, get some guys healthy. You know, for the first time, I, we got a healthy backfield, you know, with Dre Rushton being back and Christian Turner being back. So, you know, in some areas, you know, we're able to get, you know, a lot of guys back onto the field. And this time of year, though, you lose some. You know, we lost some there at Missouri State. So, you know, some are still game by game and day by day. What about game in the season? Yeah, day by game by game. But, you know, we, we made all the necessary adjustments. And, you know, again, those are – things out of our control so that's why we got team doctors and trainers and you know when they're healthy to go then we'll we'll put them in the game but you know student safety is number one foremost the real said that he saw a really hungry team at practice today what do you you have a different perspective on it but what do you think a win has done in terms of confidence and hunger and drive and everything especially with a week off to kind of bask in it a little bit you know, probably going into that Missouri State, you know, we just talked about, you know, how thoughts become your words and words become your actions. And now those actions, you know, they've seen that in preparation and in practice. Now we got to create those habits. And it's those habits daily that, you know, there nothing changes. Not, nothing changes how what we're going to say every day to our team that we got to go out. We got to create those habits because I do believe – Winning is a habit. So to see them know that, okay, if we go and we prepare the best we can, that just gives you a chance to win. Doesn't guarantee you a win, but gives you an opportunity to go out there and compete for a win. So I think the confidence that those preparations and building those habits give you a chance each and every Saturday. Like you're kind of at the midway point now of this season, mm -hmm. you know, five games in. Where, where do you kind of feel you are right now compared to where you were maybe a month ago? I, I still see growth, you know, offensively, I see growth. I, I continue to see growth in our young quarterback each and every day he, he takes the field. I see growth in defining who we are as an offense. I, I still think we're in those areas, finding out who we are and what we can do. You know, coming in, it's always going to be about the players, not about a scheme. And I think we're learning what our players can do and trying to put them in a situation where they can be successful each and every week. You know, defensively, continue. You know, we got a lot of young guys up front, some young guys in the secondary of just making sure that we strain, you know, to make sure our eyes are where they need to be, that, you know, we're putting our face in the gaps, that we we – we got our run fit. So, you know, I continue to see that in practice. And, you know, that's why you get to play the game on Saturdays to see that the work you put in, can you now be successful on Saturday? This is kind of a last game. You know, uh, you guys beat Missouri State, Indiana, clobbered Missouri mm -hmm. State. You know, it, it is, yeah. We got clobbered by UNI and South Dakota clobbers UNI. So it just shows you in this league, it is about that preparation and having your players ready to play each given Saturday because there's not far separation from the teams, you know, when it comes to talent. Might be that, you know, a team has built something over 20 years and in their recruiting classes, and you got to close those gaps. But on any given Saturday, we saw that last year, even playing, you know, at South Dakota State, that. Every team has to come ready to play football. And, you know, we've had our highs and we've had our lows, you know, against the Missouri Valley Football Conference. But to go on the road, it's hard to win a Missouri Valley Football Conference game. And it's very hard to go on the road and win a Missouri Valley Football Conference game. Dean says a little about the size of ISU's offensive line. Mm -hmm. What stands out to you? Yeah, they're big. You know, they're, they want to establish a run. I think they're, they they feel good about the quarterback and Thompson and number five. He's a lefty, and I think he can throw the football, and I think he can do it with his legs. And they're going to rely on their running back, her grand, to, you know, pick up the yardage for them. And then they get their all-league receiver back. You know, he came back last week against Missouri State and had 10 catches for over 100 yards in his first return since Eastern Illinois. You know, he was a first-team selection. There's a reason he's a first-team selection. He's a very 
good football player, great football player. Right, they were the only team that didn't play in the spring. Do you see a difference one way or another on that? No, I don't. Uh, you, we needed to play some games, but in – Hindsight also says, gosh, we had a lot of young guys to just be able to get in the weight room and be able to get strong and get your guys healthy and get ready to play. You know, I, I don't know right or wrong. You know, they did something that they thought was it for the best interest of their kids. And I have respect for Coach Mallory. I think he's a great football coach. You know, there's some similarity there, you know, the Brad Wilson, their defensive coordinator. We we were all together at Bowling Green at one point. So, again, they had to make decisions what was of best interest for them. I mean, from a physical standpoint, it just what you've seen on, on tape. Or, you know, like, I mean, when compared to teams that did play in the spring. Does that no, I don't see any any comparison. You know, Eastern Kentucky probably played fall than spring. And, you know, they went down to Eastern Kentucky and, and beat a very good football team. You know, so I don't see that whether a team played in the spring, didn't play in the in the spring or not. So, again, I think they're similar to us. They're finding their way. You know, again, you know, we came off a Northern Iowa game where, you know, we didn't look very good. You know, we got out coached, out played, and our boys were able to respond against a very good Missouri State team.